Nationals is just huge. Like you can't fathom how big it is, even from like a state perspective. States held at one school. Nationals is crazy because for each different event that you do, there's a school for it. It's people from all over. The word is nationals, but it's truly worldwide. There's people that come from all over. There's a bunch of different events. So I think the biggest thing to work on for nationals, the biggest difference, and what I'm excited to do is make my delivery come off a little bit more personable, make it resonate with a room full of people rather than just one judge and break out of, instead of a like, 70 person at state, 20 person at a local tournament, like a 500 person entry group, see what brings my speech up. Speech, I think the biggest thing is I do not feel nervous when I go into an interview, for example. Speech gives you the skills to, especially I think through trying multiple events, finding what you really like to do. With that voice, you're able to speak to an interview. You're able to feel confident in yourself and your words, and you're able to speak so powerfully. And I think that's what I'm gonna really take with me. It's a lot more introspective. It's different because it's almost a commentary using speech and debate to comment about speech and debate. It's about how a star is truly made. So it's about how it's cool to look for great things, to look for a genius, but also how that comes at the cost of burnouts, how that comes at the cost of people feeling these immense amounts of pressure and also the privilege that comes with being a star too. Mine that I'm doing this year, it's called Expository. It's like informative, which I'm doing currently, but it's condensed to five minutes without visuals. But there are other ones, for example, I did extemp debate, extemporaneous debate, where you only get your sources 30 minutes before. You get your sources, your arguments, everything 30 minutes before you have to create a case, debate someone about it. I know friends who have done storytelling, who have done poetry, there's a bunch of different ways. So not only are you able to compete with these people from around the world, really get this collaborative, worldwide collective experience, you're also able to go and meet an entirely new group of people, compete in something entirely different from what you normally do. And in addition to the opportunity that is nationals, you just also get that opportunity to develop, to develop yourself and your voice even better. You can't find another activity that's going to give you such a network and such a supportive community where it's unique, it's different, because I think in sports traditionally and a lot of other activities traditionally, it's like head on, you're working against each other, whereas speech, it's subjective, it's random in nature, but you're fine tuning, you're working with other people and you see the same people every week and you keep coming back and competing with them and it's collaborative, it's really, cool to help you grow. It's a really good showing and it's a really good testament to what speech and debate does because your work that you put in, it pays off and you're able to have great opportunities with that. I mean, it feels good. It's a good accomplishment. Going to the tournament, obviously, it's a very prestigious thing. It's a big privilege. So it's very gratifying to know that there's such a power in your voice and a power in your message and what you're saying. It means a lot in that payoff to see I'm telling my story, I'm sharing things about me, and this obviously resonated with someone. Somebody sees this spark in me, so I want to try to keep embracing that.